Hello friends, in this video I will be talking about classical inheritance versus prototypal inheritance. So if you talk about classical inheritance uh, in C++, Java, C Sharp, .NET, all these languages follow classical inheritance. In JavaScript we follow prototypal inheritance. So what is the difference between these? So let us find out and I will explain in a very simple manner. So let's get started. So here I have got a very simple object and let us name it user, okay, user1 for example. And it has got two properties name and id. So in prototypal inheritance what happens is that you can inherit the properties of one object into another object which is not possible in the classical in inheritance. So if you have worked in Java or C Sharp .NET, you know that if you want to inherit some property, uh, properties like fields or the methods, you will have to inherit the class, right? You just inherit class, you don't inherit the objects. But in JavaScript, you can inherit the properties of the objects. So I will show you how you can do that. So let us create another uh, user object and inherit these properties that are there on the user own object. So let user2. is equal to empty let us create an empty object and now uh, we will inherit this name and id properties so to do that you have to use object dot set prototype method set prototype of so what this method does is that you have to give the object and then the prototype object so basically uh, the object from which you want to inherit the properties now uh, we want to inherit the properties from user1 so i am giving user1 here so what will happen is that user1's properties can be inherited by user2 so now if you log that user2 what will happen is that remember that initially user2 was empty but since we have inherited inherited the properties of user1 let us find out what it shows. So you can see here the user2 object is empty but if you try to access any of the properties of the user1 you can access it. So if I try to print user2 name let us see what it does. So you can see it printed the name. So what happens is that uh, when it tries to access any property it checks if uh, user2 has got the own property right if it doesn't have then it will follow the prototype chain and then in the chain we have specified that okay if user2 doesn't have any property it will go and check the prototype so prototype of user2 is user1 so it will go to the user1 and then check if that user1 object has got that name property and since the name property is available it will uh, print that if the property is not available there then it will just say that undefined so uh, if i give like invalid property then it will say undefined so you can see it is undefined so the main point that you need to take away is that in prototype based inheritance we objects can inherit the properties of another object which is not possible in the classical inheritance that is the main difference between prototype based inheritance and classical inheritance i hope this video was useful to you I will be coming up with more videos like this. If you like my content, don't uh, forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video. Till then, enjoy your time.